Hello everyone and welcome back to Mossy Pine Ranch at Elm Creek. We have reached episode number 9 and are now in April. Last time we were focused on the grass field ahead of us. We mowed the grass, windrowed it, baled it and wrapped it to make silage. We had to rent a bale stacker and all the bales ended up over at the BGA where they are completing their fermenting and uh, I think by about midday today they would have fully fermented as we've passed a calendar month by moving forward a day. Today we have to get our fields seeded. Now you'll notice that we've got quite a lot of weeds in field number one and the meadow and also in field two and three which emerged behind me and we also want to seed uh, this grass field with uh, a grain crop. So I'm off to the store first thing as we need to buy a suitable seed drill to speed up the drop and as we've got weeds we are going to need a direct drill so we can sort of cultivate and drill at the same time. So I've spotted a seed drill that's going to be suitable and we'll also have to pick up some seed the ground is already primary fertilized so that's a good start but we'll have to probably come along and spread fertilizer where it needs it but the plan is after i've seeded i'm also going to roll the ground uh, there's a roller um, that looks to be of a good price as well so yeah that is the main jobs today seeding and rolling so let's head over to the store and pick up our seed drill. Right, so the seed drill that we are going to go for is one that we're going to have to lease as it's quite expensive to buy and it looks really suitable for our tractor it requires 240 horsepower our tractor's 270 from recollection and it's got an 8 meter width which yeah is much bigger than our current 4 meter amazon uh, i think it is this one yeah that's what we've got so yes uh, we have to lease it but it is going to make the job a lot faster so Vaderstad is a brand that I have seen is um, used in the US, so quite appropriate for us. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to cost us around, okay, £8,134 for leasing. Oof, quite expensive, but it definitely beats buying it. I'm hoping to buy this at some point, but uh, yeah, obviously we don't have the funds at the moment. All right, we also need some seeds. We have some at the farm already, but I'm going to buy around 2000 liters just to make sure we have enough for all of the seeding we're going to be doing. All right, so here is the seed drill, the Vaderstad, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's gonna help the job out today. Let's uh, pull up a little bit closer to the seed so we can get it loaded in. All right, there we go, both bags of seed loaded in. So let's get back to the farm and start doing some seed drilling. Right, so back at the ranch and I'm gonna start with field two and three which is merged into one probably didn't pick the easiest access point here as uh, this is a bit tight there we go it managed to squeeze through so let's get it unfolded hopefully not going to foul the tree on the left that should be fine there we go so i've got sorghum selected as that is the crop we are going to put in this field and the reason for sorghum is it's going to benefit our horses and chickens for the feed 
So let's get the seed drill turned on and lowered. And as mentioned, this is a direct drill. So the plan is this will clear the weeds as we start seeding, start drilling. There we go, you can see behind us it's leaving a nice clear path. And I'm just trying to gauge width so we can uh, get round here nicely and not leave any edges undrilled. But here we go, the Fadestad in in action and much wider than our Amazon seed drill. So it's going to save us some time, even though it cost us £8,000 to lease this. I think that's a uh, fair cost given the productivity it's giving us back. It would take probably all day to seed drill this with our existing seed drill. So we're able to now seed drill and roll in the same day. And uh, if it's anything like last time, obviously the growth rate is quite quick as we jump ahead a month each day. So we really need to seed drill and roll on the same day. Right, let's just finish up this row straight. And then we'll do a little turn so we can line up for this uh, this headland bit here. Lower away. And off we go. So the case is uh, capable of pulling this. Just going to be a bit slow on the uphills because it's near the top end of the horsepower it can manage. Here we go. Making some good progress so far. Going to do my usual of a headland, followed by hopefully some neat rows. Brilliant. Swatting away those dirty weeds. That's going to look a lot nicer once we've got all of our crops drilled. So yeah, sorghum in this field to benefit our horses and chickens. Yeah, there we go, the horses and chickens over there. And then in field number one in the meadow, that's going to be our permanent grass field. And then the grass field, which we mowed last time, we are going to drill soybeans, I believe. That's what I uh, thought would be best based on crop prices. And uh, yeah, I like soybean as a crop. It's always been a uh, good choice in farm sim. So yeah, we're going to stick with doing some soybean. Right, a bit slow as I'm nearing the top of the hill. So good time to break into the action and I'll see you in a short while. And there we go, that is the sorghum all seed drilled. Bit of an awkward field, but managed to get it in um, as best as I could. So uh, yeah, it is planted, let's take a look. So here we go, field number two and three has sorghum in. So yep, yeah, that is good. And uh, that is now growing. And if we go to the soil composition, we'll see that it now has needs rolling so plan is to come and do that this afternoon next we're going to move on to field one and the meadow to plant the grass got enough seed in the tank i think we only used 250 liters 
so that's pretty handy. And it is uh, the same job, but on a bigger field this time. Right, grass selected. Let's get it fired up and lowered. And off we go. Oh, OK, so we've got an interesting texture here. This is uh, seeding grass, but it looks like a mulched texture. Maybe that's the uh, the weeds that are being chopped up as we are drilling. But uh, let's just take a quick look at the map and make sure everything's in order. The grass is being seeded, I can see there, and growth is there as well. And for the soil composition, we've got needs rolling as well. OK, so this just must be the texture you get when you uh, seed drill grass directly when there are weeds in the field. And we're off. And there we are. <sighs> that was a tricky job, but we have got the grass all seed drilled into field one slash the meadow area. Now, I did have to sort of change tactic halfway through. It was looking a bit like a pig's ear, but uh, yeah, I was really fighting the low horsepowerage and uh, gravity situation uh, going up the hill, and the uh, Vardestant was. Uh, yeah, struggling. It did stop on one of the uphills at one point, so I had to change tactic and start going the other way to try and uh, make it work along the hill. But we got there in the end, and that's all seeded with grass. If we take a look, we've got needs rolling for the whole field, and yep, yeah, growth is now at the well, not the earliest stage, it seems to have crept straight into one of the latter stages. And we of course have grass in there, which is really good. Now it's on to field four, five, six and seven, which is all one field, which currently has grass in, but we want to overlay that with soybeans. So let's get soybeans selected. Unfold all one small the third time today bit of a seeding hat trick but uh, it needs to be done 
as uh, yeah, we want to get our crops in nice and early. It's not the earliest that we can get some of them in, but uh, we had to obviously get this field mown last time. And yeah, the funds are looking a little bit low, so I'm pleased that we did uh, get to mowing and we can get some funds off the BGA. Now I'm hoping this is going to seed drill directly. It is, that's good. Again, we're sort of getting a bit of a mulched ground effect, but that's okay. I will just check in on the map and make sure we are seeding correctly. So crop type, soybean, yep. And then we should be getting growth and needs rolling. Already needs rolling anyway, so that's not going to change. And there we are. We have got this field all seeded with soybeans, which is good. So all three fields now seeded. And um, yeah, I'm a bit curious as to why field two and three, where we planted our sorghum, is a different texture to that of the soybean and the grass. All, uh, all the fields had uh, weeds in. Well, not the one we just seeded that had grass in, but it had obviously something in it and um, yeah field one in the meadow and field two and three merged just had weeds in yet they uh, look different in terms of the texture so yeah very curious as to why that is the case but I'm sure we'll find out at some point so next I am back to the dealership to return our seed drill then I'm going to see about picking up a roller as yeah we need to roll all three fields to get the uh, seeds bedded in nicely and uh, that's going to give us a little bit of a yield boost and we also want to check in on the BGA and see if all of our bales are fermented so they can start being loaded in and processing so let's head to the store So I've been having a look at the rollers and um, the Guttler is the one that we can afford and seems to be a good match for the case tractor. It's uh, six meters so um, yeah not as wide as the seed drill we were just using, two meters shy of that, um, but two meters wider than our older 
seed drill so yeah shouldn't take us too long with that one i was contemplating taking out a small loan and getting the uh, dalbo power roll which is 12.3 meters but we can't afford that and i don't want to be getting out any loans so let's get the guttler and uh, in my research i have seen that this is um, a brand of equipment that is used in the US so that is good to know and we're going to get a roller standard roller rather than the grassland roller so let's go ahead and buy that all right I've dropped the leftover seed there at the store let's loop around and get our roller there we are and I think this folds up so that's a bit more road friendly Okay, let's nip just across the road to the BGA and see how our bales are getting on fermenting. There they are, our lovely bales. Money waiting to be processed. Let's take a quick look and see how they are getting on. So, these are silage. Yep, fully processed, 3,500 and litres per bale. So we can start to get these loaded. I haven't got a front loader, so I'm going to ask some chaps at the BGA to get that all loaded. So let's uh, see if they'll do it for us. And there we are, all loaded. So what's nice about FS22 is uh, there is actually a window to see the processing of the silage if I can get over this barrier and yep here we go so we can see how much silage we've got 116,215 litres now some of that would have been processed already so it will be slightly higher than that figure but yes we can see the recipe so the silage is being processed into electricity units and then digestate uh, litres and units so yeah it's got 153 litres of digestate produced and uh, that's how many cycles per month it will do and then the running cost the production cost of the BGA itself per month um, so yeah that is uh, pretty good so from what I read of that um, 8,484 litres of silage is one cycle it will do 24 cycles in a month which is a day for us and for each cycle that is going to be 606 pounds so yeah quite a few uh, production costs for us um overnight but yeah we should see the profits of that um tomorrow um, and what's interesting is we can also deposit slurry manure sugar beet cut which um, is not actually sugar beets harvested, but um, yeah, I guess they're ground up. Okay, so we're going to leave that uh, to it, and then we're going to take our new roller back to the farm, and we can start rolling our seeds into the ground, so they bed in better, and we get a bit of yield bonus. So let's knit back to the farm. Right, here we are back at the ranch and I'm going to start rolling back to front of what I seeded. So uh, let's just line ourselves up here, get the roller lowered and oh yeah we're going to see a texture change. That's pretty handy. Just want to make sure that uh, we're not doing any damage to the crop. Ah, okay so it needs rolling. That is being cleared and we are actually going up a fertilizer state I think but uh, this might be secondary fertilized already and we did uh, sort of turn the grass in when we were seeding it so uh, be interesting to see what the field looks like in total when we're finished but uh, yeah it doesn't look to have impacted the the crop and taking it back a growth stage so that is all good we are good to roll this and we've got a nice texture change to show us where we've been and where we haven't been 
yeah the roller's not too small so uh, yeah not going to be too bad a job for us but I am conscious that it's going to be the same job for all the three fields I've seeded and the seeding was uh, the same job but obviously different crops so my plan is that I'm going to try and do this all in one and uh, for each field I'll probably do a headland and then I will do the rows and all the good stuff to get it all rolled up Right, so I am back from the store. I uh, don't know what I was thinking. We should have just got the uh, bigger roller. The six meter one was good, but just too small for the uh, job we've got on hand. So yep, I've sold the Gutler and I've bought this much bigger Dalbo power roll. And uh, it's double the width, so that's gonna make the job much easier and much faster and uh, yeah we're gonna have to do the rolling quite frequently after every uh, time we seed drill or plant so it makes sense that we get a bigger roller as we've got some big fields and uh, yeah we're gonna have to look at upgrading our seeder when uh, we get some more funds I had to take a small loan to buy this $20,000 but we should make uh, that and then some uh, from the BGA profits so I'll be able to pay that off quite quickly tomorrow but let's crack on with this job and get all three fields rolled
Right, that has seen to that. So the fields are all nicely rolled, which is really, really good. Now, some um, do need a bit of extra fertilizer and I'll wait till the uh, next growth state to do a bit of spreading. So there we go. We have planted all three fields. Field one of the meadow with grass. That's going to be our permanent grass field. Field two and three with sorghum, and that's going to be the feed for the horses and the chickens. And then this field here comprised of four, five, six and seven, which has got soybeans in. And that is going to be our crops um, for this season. Um, yep. Yeah. And uh, soybean is going to go straight to the market. Field one we're going to use for a source of hay, but we've got plenty of hay already. So we'll probably do some silage with that again um, at the end of the season when it's uh, fully uh, grown and ready to mow again and then yep sorghum will go towards the horses and the chickens which is good so let's get the roller parked away and uh, I'm gonna have to give the horses their daily riding uh, today but that is it um, been quite a busy and hectic episode a little bit messy in parts where I've uh, had to use a newer and bigger seed drill uh, but that's been quite fun um, and yeah uh, having to switch to a new roller uh, I should have just got the bigger one to start with but uh, that's all part of the uh, learning and the game but you will notice that our funds have crept up again so we're up to £27,000 we were down uh, to seven after we took the loan out and uh, bought this roller um, but we can pay that loan off straight away now if I can uh, park this roller successfully and um, yep I'm going to pay off that loan and overnight we should see the rest of our profits come in which will be really really nice so we will see that next time yep I hope you've enjoyed watching a big thank you for your views likes and subscribes if you've got any tips tricks or things you'd like me to do then feel free to leave a comment but all there's left to say is hope you've enjoyed watching and look forward to seeing you next time cheers all catch you later bye bye